Hi, Alex here from Rebeloper.com and welcome to another episode of Firebase Authentication. And today we are going to fetch some data for our user profile from the Firebase Storage and Firebase Database. So without further ado, let's get to work. Okay, in the last episode, we have uh, fetched our profile data from Facebook, then we have uploaded it to the Firebase database, and of course, our profile picture image into the Firebase storage. Now we are going to fetch that and present it in our app. And let me show you what I am talking about. I am going to put it inside my uh, iPhone 10 and here we go. Uh, here we have our username, our user UID, user email and when I tap on the fetch user it will be fetched from the Firebase database and it will be populated of course. So today we are going to build out uh, this. Okay, let's stop this and let's get back to our uh, Firebase authentication project and we have left off by successfully saving our user into the Firebase database and we have dismissed our uh, well our welcome controller. What is up next? Well we are going to go into the user profile controller and create our views. Well we are going to add our views and first of all uh, we are going to add, let's say, uh, well, I have already shown you, so I will rather just copy and paste and go through this. I am pretty uh, sure that you already know what I'm talking about. Well, first of all, we are going to create a profile image view. Let me just copy that out. So here we have our profile image view height and our profile image view and it will be a cached image view and for that we need to import LBTA components. Now why is this important? Well because the cached image view, well first of all it is cached and a second of all we have a function call upon this cached image view that is a load image and that is super helpful when we will load our image into uh, this image view. Okay, uh, here we have our background color, it is the base color, content mode aspect fill because uh, we want this to be filled uh, uh, all the way up and of course we clip the bounds and we make this uh, a rounded image view of the because of the corner radius is set to the image views height divided by two pretty straightforward things now uh, what else do we want to do well first of all we want to create a new function here called setup views and that will be placed well let's place it down here but before we do that let me just give you some room so we may see what we are actually doing here. So it will be a file private function, set up views. And here we actually set up our views. And uh, what do I mean by that? We first of all, uh, we add to our view as a sub view, our profile image view, and then we anchor it. And I will just copy and paste this out because it's a lot of typing and you already know about how to anchor with LBTA components. If you don't, go ahead and take a look at my uh, previous episode, a series on LBTA components and how you can use it to anchor views. So this is what I want to grab now. Copy this out and add it here. So now we have added our handle, uh, well, our profile image view and we have anchored it. Let me just build and run and see how uh, this looks. Okay, let's uh, go to our profile and there you have it, a simple uh, profile image view. Now let's add uh, the name label and the UID label and the uh, email label to our view. So 
uh, I will just copy all of this free out from here. The basic stuff. Uh, I won't bore you for now with these. And uh, let me just go through them. It has a basic text of user name. It is a bold system font of type uh, 18. And here we have our system font with a 14 and it will be light gray. And the same goes for our user's email. Now, next up, we want to add it to our super view and of course, anchor it. So let me just copy all of these lines of code out. Go ahead and take a look at the GitHub repository if you want to go deeper into how I set uh, this up. So let's build and run again and see how that looks. Okay, there we have it. User's name, user UID and user's email. Pretty straightforward and good stuff. Now, we want to add here a fetch user button. So for that, it is again uh, pretty straightforward. We are going to add a left bar button item to our navigation items. So I just copied that out and pasted it in there and change it to left bar button item. And the title should be fetch user. Okay. And the handle sign out button should be changed to handle fetch user button tab. Again, we are going to create it here and it will be an objective C function. And there you go. Okay, let's build and run and see that button over there. Pretty straightforward and easy stuff. There you go, fetch user. If I tap it, nothing happens because there's nothing in the fetch uh, handle fetch user button tab. So now we are going to take care of that. Well, what do we want to do? Well, first of all, we want to check if there is a valid user signed in. And that is pretty simple. So let's type in if auth dot auth current user and is not equal to a nil, then we want to well, first of all, we want to get our current user's UID. And I will just... Now we want to fetch the data with this uh, UID key. So type in a database, a database, but we still need to import here. Firebase database and while we are here, let's import Firebase storage. Okay, now let's go back and continue. So database dot database and reference. And uh, if you recall, we uh, serve we we saved all of our users under the users child, and here we want to fetch our child that is under our UID and we are going to observe single event and I will just call upon this uh, data type and the data type is a dot value and we are going to unwrap this and for the snapshot we are going to type in snapshot and let's take uh, care of this error error and let's print out our error. Okay, now it's time to get our snapshot. Now the snapshots value is actually a dictionary. So let's create here our dictionary equals snapshot dot value. And I will, I believe I need to guard let unwrap this. Yes, let's uh, return. Okay, and now we should actually, well, we should actually create a user object and then we can uh, add from that user object to our view. So for that, we are going to create a new file here. And I will just name, uh, create a Swift file and create this. Okay, and uh, it will be a struct and let's name this 
And inside here, our fields will be let, uh, let's, let's start with the UID and it will be of type string. Again, our name string again. Another one is our email and that is a string again. And um, finally, we need our string again. So now we need to initialize it. So type it in it. And we are going to add our UID here with a string. And I will add the other elements as a dictionary. So dictionary and it will be of type string to any. Pretty good stuff. Now let's add in our statements. So self UID equals UID. And now a dictionary, let me type that out correctly. And for the dictionary of, and here we go, type in here a name. Yeah, we need to cast it out as a string. And I believe we still need to add a default value and I will just leave it as an empty string. Okay, next up we need an email and our profile picture URL. So I'll just simply copy and paste all of these and change the name to email, email, profile picture URL into into our profile picture URL. I believe we are already initializing our current user. Let's go back into our um, where we have left off and here we have our dictionary and now let us just create a new user and that will be of our current uh, let's just hit command B so we get the completions of course and here we have our current user and let's initialize it with our UID the UID is of course the UID that we have gotten from our current user and the dictionary is our dict dictionary that we have uh, got from our snapshot pretty cool eh and now we can actually add uh, our uh, username, UID and user email and uh, because we are inside our user profile it is pretty simple let's just add here self yes and I believe that we are not getting our user because this dictionary needs to be casted as a string to any string to any. Okay, let's hit command B again and let's see if everything works okay. And it seems we don't uh, have uh, this error, it has gone. And now let's tap in user and of course we have our name. And I believe we should uh, again go back here and it is not profile picture URL, it is profile image just to say a uh, stay consistent image URL. Okay, uh, now that we do have our user's name, it is time for the user's UID. So self dot UID label dot text, and that is our user's UID. Again, self dot email label dot text, equal user dot and email and next up and this is the most uh, important part that we use lbta components we are going to add our profile picture uh, image so self dot profile image view dot and we are not going to add an image we are going to type in a load image and it asks us for our URL string and that is the users and profile picture URL. Pretty simple. And I believe we need to cast this out. There's no, oh, it doesn't have any. So let's build 
and run again. This is because I have changed the profile picture URL to profile image URL. So let's add that and there we go. And this should be all. So let us just build and run again. And let's tap on the fetch user button to see how this works in action. Okay, let's go and I'm tapping on fetch user. Let's wait for it. And there you go. Here you have our name, our UUID and our email. For some reason, we are not getting our load image. Upon further inspection, I have found out what is the problem with the profile picture image. The issue here is that we are calling upon it with the profile image URL. So let's copy this out. But we are saving it as, and let me go to our welcome controller. We are saving it as with a profile picture URL, not profile image URL. So let me just change that. And uh, let us, here, here we have, as you can see, our profile picture URL. So I will just delete this and maybe sign. Let me just show you. Uh, quick time okay and I will just sign out here okay and let's go back to Xcode and build and run again and this time everything should work as expected okay and let's wait for it let's log in with Facebook let's it continue continue again logging in with Facebook and let's go to our user profile and now let's tap on fetch user okay and there you have it our profile image has been fetched of course here we have our uid and our email okay that is it for fetching your user profile of course you may want to add this fetching automatically or with something else maybe a swipe down of your ui collection con view controller if you do have anything like that but this is just a plain old simple example how you can fetch the user okay hope you enjoyed this one if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and as usual i will see you in the next one